Hey guys, Adam here with my first ad pack. So the first application is called Log Me In, and it's a free app in the App Store. Log Me In is a free version of the $30 Log Me In Ignition application, and Log Me In was just released to the App Store yesterday. Log Me In allows you to control your computer straight from your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad with a very easy to use application. So in order to get this working, it's pretty simple. You're just going to need to download the application on both your computer as well as your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. And once you do that, go ahead and open up the application. So I actually have my computer opened up right here, and the controls are really, really simple, and you have a bar down here with a bunch of different external controls. So pretty much if you guys want to launch an application or just, you know, move around, you can zoom in and move all around. And pretty much you just tap to tap on something, you can uh, tap with two fingers at once, two right clicks, so there's a right click. You can zoom out just like that. And that's pretty much the extent of how the controls work. It's really, really simple. And you can also upgrade to Log Me and Ignition for $30. However, I wouldn't really recommend this to most users because with the free version, you can completely control your screen and it works just fine. But there are some premium features in the premium version. However, $30 is very expensive for an application. The second app is called Pimp Your Screen. Pimp Your Screen allows you guys to create custom wallpapers for your home screen and your lock screen for your iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad. With Pimp Your Screen, there's thousands of different wallpapers to choose from. So there's going to be wallpapers that include app shelves, neon combos, home screens, and icon skins. And there's also going to be the lock screen maker and home screen maker. And these are really, really customizable. And that's the reason why I do recommend this application. So jumping into the home screen maker, you guys will see there's a few different options. Number one, you could first off just choose your wallpaper so you can swipe through and choose one you want. Uh, so I just like this earth here that looks pretty cool. Now you can go ahead and choose your shelf or your skin. So here's the shelves. You can just swipe and you can choose your shelf. And once you're done with the wallpaper, you can simply save it just like that. There's also going to be the recent and popular tabs on the top, and this lets you guys look at some recent and popular wallpapers. Uh, so for example, here's popular, and I guess this is the most popular wallpaper. It has the background, the uh, icon skins, and you can swipe through them and choose one you want and save it. Pip Your Screen is available for the iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad for $0.99, cents, and it's highly recommended if you want to be able to customize your wallpaper for your lock screen and home screen. The final application is called Sonic CD. Sonic CD is a brand new Sonic app that just hit the App Store for $2.99 this week. Sonic CD is a remake to the classic 1993 game for the Sonic CD, and it features upgraded Retina display graphics for the iPhone and iPod Touch. So with Sonic CD, this is the main menu, and with the main menu, there's going to be a bunch of different controls as well as game types. So there's Start Game as well as Time Attacks, then there's Achievements, Leaderboards, and more. So first off, with Time Attack, this is a mode that lets you guys go back to the old levels and try to beat your previous scores. And I do want to mention that I mainly play this on the iPad, so there's not really too much data on my iPhone. But you guys can still see here's all the levels. You can play them and try to beat your old records. So with Sonic CD, the game plays out just like any other Sonic game for iOS. So you have a D-pad in the bottom left-hand corner, as well as the A button down here for jumping. And of course, you guys can use these in combination. So you can hold down on this uh, while using the A button, and it'll make Sonic go like that. And altogether, the game plays very smooth. I haven't really encountered too much lag on my iPhone 4. And of course, on the iPhone 4S, it's going to be even better. And for the graphics, they're very nice as well. And the game is a great port over from the old Sonic CD game, which is from 19. 1993. So altogether, I'd highly recommend Sonic CD for the iPhone if you're a fan of Sonic like I am. I haven't really played Sonic in a while, however, it's still really fun to play it on the iPhone, and the controls aren't really that bad on touch, and I'd highly recommend the game. So guys, that was app pack number one. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like ring down below, and thanks a lot for watching.